What is up? What is up, everyone? Welcome back to our Foundations of Craftsman Kit Model Building. We are working on the Yard Office number three from FUS Scale Models. There is a link in the bottom in the description if you want to pick up this kit and build along with us. So before we get going, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. That way you get instant access whenever we post any new video. Subscribe and like and hit that bell button. All right, we're going to toss that aside. We're going to get to work. So now that, that door is dry, we can remove that toothpick because uh, we don't need it anymore. It is dry and it is in place. And what that did was it allowed for a nice little open look right there. And we might want to touch that up with a little bit of paint. No big deal. But today we're going to show you how we are putting acetate in our windows for the glass look. Um, so this is pretty simple. And this is all we're going to cover in this one. The next video, I'm going to show you how I black out my windows. Um, this one we're not going to flip over to our ready to glue just because of that open door. So, this is really, really easy, guys. Here's how we do it. So, the idea behind this is I want the acetate to cover about an eighth of an inch above and below each side of the window. So, total about a quarter inch larger. And I don't measure much. I, um, I do it by eye, really. So, I just put a little mark here and a little mark here where I want to cut my acetate, which is just a little bit larger. And I get a pair of scissors. And I simply just make two easy cuts. Done. I'm going to do the same thing with the next window. I only have to make one mark because we already have our, our height cut. We just got to cut the length in. Done. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the windows real quick, just the same way I did these two windows, but for the other parts of the kit. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how we glue them in. All right, so we have all of our acetate cut. We're going to come back through and use tacky glue. Sometimes I've used wood glue. Sometimes I'll use tacky glue. For the windows, it just depends um, kind of what mood I'm in. But tacky glue is nice because it also dries pretty clear and it sets up quickly. Um, so here is how I'm going to use my tacky glue. It's not going to be with my tacky glue bottle. By the way, quick side note, old school tacky glue bottles looked like this. They were upright and you had to shake them and shake them and shake them for hours. It seemed like not that long, but I'm exaggerating. It seemed like you had to shake them forever just to get that tacky glue in there or you had to store it upside down some way to get their tacky glue to the nozzle. They make these new ones. They have the nozzle on the bottom. Oh, ah, amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my palette, put some tacky glue in the palette because the nozzle is a little bit larger than I want for my application and come back with my toothpick. And um, we're going to quickly just not lose our acetate. The one problem with working with acetate is it's really easy to lose if you uh, flick it somewhere, you don't see where it goes. So what I'm going to do, move these aside. I'm going to zoom in a little bit is I'm just going to put a little bead of glue around the edges of the window, a little bit back from the window. That way, just in case your acetate slips a little bit while you're putting it on, um, it doesn't show up because then you're going to have like a foggy little smudge. Then you're just going to pop it down one application and stick it. There you go. I just lost a piece. There it is. We're going to do it again. Go around the window. A little bit back from the edge. And then we're going to just take our piece of acetate that we cut for that window. Stick it down. You don't have to press really hard. And then there you go. You have your windows in. You can see that reflective look. Uh, in another video, I'm going to, I think actually I already did a video on it, so I don't have to share it. I did a different video on our YouTube channel about how to use real glass. That's something you can totally do. Uh, here's another different application. This is a whole door, but the door has windows in it. So some of our doors won't have windows and some will. And in the case that your doors have the windows, you're going to want to put acetate in them as well because, well, there's probably glass in those windows. There are plenty of other methods to do glass. We know this isn't the only one. And some people love to use different materials, materials, 
They like to use different minerals. Um, anyways, like to use different materials than just uh, the acetate that comes in the kits, and that's totally fine. Um, but we are using what comes in the kit and how the kit is supposed to uh, go together. In more advanced videos or more advanced techniques, you might want to use microscope slide glass, or some people use canopy glue. Uh, my dad did a video on, or a, I don't know if he did a video on it, but he did a kit on how he used um, papers to create a cool look. I don't know what you would call that, but like colored glass. I forget how he did that one, but he did a colored glass video. Maybe we can get him to do a YouTube video on that. But anyways, that'll be a more advanced one. One tricky spot here is this open door that I did. So what I'm going to do is just the same thing. Take a little bit of glue. Put it on the top and just the bottom. Take my tiny piece of acetate and stick it in. You want to make sure that when you put it down, you don't move it around very much because then you will get smudgies and you'll be able to see them from the outside. You don't want any smudgies from being able to be visible from the outside of the building. Like that might create a smudge. So now we get it back. You got to go back here and clean it up. There we go. Okay. Really thin amount, guys. Again, you don't have to put on very much glue. Uh, you're working with such small stuff here. It's so lightweight that almost too much glue. Like that's a lot of glue. We're going to clear a little bit of that up right there. We don't need that much glue. We're not holding together anything that's going to hold any weight. So more glue means more um, opportunities for smudges. So there we go. Got our windows in and that's it. That's how you put acetate in your windows or that's how we put acetate in our windows for the glass effect. Uh, the next video, I'm going to be showing you how I dress up my windows and put uh, either black them out or I'm putting window dressing in like blinds and curtains and stuff like that. So thanks again. Maybe, remember, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to zoom back out so you can see what I'm doing. My hand's not huge. Hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell icon over there. Again, awesome. Thanks for following along, you guys. Have